Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to clean up a phone call that sounds distorted and has lots of background noise. Let's hop into Adobe Audition where I have a little sample. Someone had fiddled with the settings on the Vox Pro recorder and we had a bit of audio that kind of came out like this. Let's have a listen. A lot more plant food. Um... So you can hear every time Joe is talking, there's like this distortion uh, and it's it's quite prominent throughout the whole call. You know, I, I sort of... It's that scratchy kind of... As uh, Joe is talking. Now, usually you wouldn't expect that in a phone call. The first thing I would do to analyze this and try and clean this up is actually hop into spectral frequency display, which will show you all the frequencies and maybe give us an indication of some of the problem going on. To access this, it's over here in the top left, usually show spectral frequency display or just shift and D on your keyboard and boom. And look at that. Now, this is just a, a perfect, pure, clean example of how you can straight away spot the problem. So everywhere you see these spikes here, this is where that scratchy kind of distortion is happening because the, um, the phone call is uh, sort of the gain has been turned up. The volume is far too loud and it's basically clipping and distorting here. So you can hear that that terrible clip as I play it. I just play that sample and here's a big clip of that sample. And then if we play that in context and listen to the whole thing. Search, search. So that's a real, search. that's a terrible place with distortion. Pondering, thinking. So there you go, lots and lots of it. Now, one thing you can try if you see a lot of distortion up here is just try and select the frequency range of the phone call. Uh, that usually goes up to about 4K when it's over the phone, traditional phone calls, not Skype calls, Zoom calls and things like that, but we're talking traditional phone calls. So let's just select that 4K right the way down to the base and have another listen. A lot more plant food. Um you know, I, I sort of... That's amazing. It has just totally solved the issue. Uh, so in order to clean this up, I'm just simply going to select that top end bit and I can just delete it like that. Boom, gone, black, and we're just left with the quality phone call now. Let's listen. You know, I, I sort of did a lot of research. There we go. And let's just remind ourselves how research sounded before. Research. And then after that effect. Research. Amazing, right? But we're not done yet. There's still more we can do. Let's have a listen to some of the background noise on this phone call. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, so I'm actually going to go in and normalize it so you can really hear this. You can hear there's a lot of hum background noise going on there. Uh, and the hum is particularly visible when we amplify the audio down here. That's something we need to get rid of. Now, what we could do is we could just undo this and we could simply chop off all the low end as well to get rid of that background hum. So something like that. Again, we're doing this marquee selecting uh, and then delete like that. Let's listen to how that sounds. It might not sound too bad, but it might sound awful. Let's try. Yeah, all the hum's gone, but yeah, there's there's nothing left of Joe Cross there. So let's put it back in and let's try another method. And this method is quite simply to take our time selection tool up here and select a piece of audio where there is no speech and no clicking. That's important. Otherwise, it'll pick up things like this little red blotch here. So you just want to get a piece with the background noise only. That sounds perfect to me. And then you'll go into effects. You'll go to noise reduction restoration. You will capture the noise print first. That is why, and click OK to this, that's why it's important to select only noise and nothing else. Uh, and then you go into effects, noise reduction restoration again, noise reduction process, and you see the noise print is captured in there nicely. Let's select everything. A lot more plant food. Um, it's working significantly well. Let's just go to the default settings. A lot more plant food. Food. And we'll go into preview mode up here in the top right so we can see a before and after. You can see a lot of the hum is being pulled out. Look at how yellow it is down there in the before and then not so yellow down here. Uh, we can work a little harder by telling it to work harder on these low end frequencies where we know the problem is. And then we'll push up the noise reduction percentage a bit to 87%. That's working quite well. Gain reduction to 60 a dB. A lot more plant food. Um you know, I, I can still hear it there, so I'm going to just work ever so much harder. Just really push this right the way up as much a as A lot more plant food. Um, Let's push the noise reduction right up. A lot more plant food. Um, you know, I, I sort of did a lot of research. So we're getting close to a really good phone call now. I'm going to apply that. 
switch off the preview mode. And then the final thing I'll do, because I can still sit hear some of that hum just at the tail end of Joe's words, is I'm going to go in and add a noise gain, possibly an expander as well. This can all be done in one effect, by the way. It's again in effects menu. You want to go to amplitude and compression. You want to look for dynamics. Brilliant effect here. And then you'll go into the auto gate. You'll switch this on. And again, preview mode is actually handy for this because you can see it working. That's probably too harsh at the threshold of minus 20. A lot more plant food. So it's kind of cutting out his words. So we want to just back this off a bit, pull this down to minus 28, see how that looks, and probably a little bit further down. A lot more plant food. Um, you know, I, I sort of did a lot of research pondering, thinking, reading. Listening. That's good. And if you want to level it up one more, you can switch on the expander. Again, set the threshold around the same as your noise gate. Push the ratio up and you'll see as you push the ratio up, it's going to start kicking in. It's like a fader pulling the audio down uh, when there is no speech. So let's try it. A lot more plant food. Um, you know, I so you can see as this red is ticking in, the expander is working. Let's apply that. Uh, then let's go into favorites and normalize it to minus 0.1 dB. Of course, everything I've just shown you here in the waveform view can also be done if you create a new multi-track. If you create a new multi-track with no template here, drag in the phone call. You can also go ahead, drag this in, go to the effects rad, add all these on non-distractively and really mess about. And also it will help if you've got a host on another track as well to really process this call. But I really hope this helps you to solve the issue. Remember, the first thing you're going to want to do when you have a problem with a phone call is pop open the spectral frequency display, look for any errors, try and marquee select them and delete them and see if that makes a difference. Sometimes you go too far and you need to undo. Uh, then go into noise reduction, capture the noise print. This is where noise reduction really wins over using something like denoise, which is a kind of catch-all uh, denoise effect in Adobe Audition. Noise reduction is designed for those specific sounds you want to get rid of. And then finally, it's a noise gate and it's an expander inside the dynamics effect and you have a really sweet sounding clean phone call most importantly. I hope you enjoy using these tips on your next phone call and let me know how you get on in the comments down below. Music we